Hi everyone, this is Susan Ferruja from Henitech Creations and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial for those that have started using Craft Artist to see how you use the um, scissors. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a piece of test material because I want to show you first how, th how this works and then I will teach you what to do to get a perfect, beautiful edged square. So to start off with, when I click on the scissors, which is found right at the top on my toolbar, you will find that by default you will find that it will come to a straight line with a 25% smoothness, no wavelength and no amplitude. However, I want to change this and I'm going to use the one I just had, which was the double bump. And I'm going to show you how to change this. Now when I click on the double bump, again, it will keep it with the default figures of 25% on the smoothness, wavelength of 10 and amplitude of 10. So let's see what that means. That means that if I now cut a straight cut across the top there, so to cut straight, what you need to do is as I click and drag my knife or scissors, I will need to hold my shift key down and this would give me a straight line. When I'm happy about it, I just release the mouse first and then my shift and I can cut that off and there is my straight line cut across the top. However, I don't quite like the edge that that created. So what I'm going to do is experiment with different sizes. And after having tried all sorts, one of the sizes that I particularly like, but please do try yourself different edges, different smoothness and different wavelengths, because it will make it look much uh, different every time you change it. But for this particular quick tutorial, I'm going to do that to 25, or oh, sorry, 36. I'm going to do my wavelength 36 and this you can either type it straight in like I just did you can use this to change it to 36 or 25 36 until you get to where you want or you can use the up and down arrows I'm gonna set it at 36 but I'm gonna leave the amplitude as 10 now what that does if I did make it bigger or smaller is the height of the curve so when you test it, you see how it works. But I like it with these um, settings. So now to cut again, I will hold my shift key down, click, drag across, and now I've got a much nicer edge. Can you see how the edge is now much wider? If I want to talk, do my amplitude a little bit more, maybe 16 let's see this one so if I cut again yes and that's quite nice as well I'm gonna go for that one okay now that I have the edge I like I still have a problem because if I then went off to cut the edges on the sides on this side what was going outwards has now come inwards and when I do the other side it will go the opposite way so can you see it's not giving me a unique edge that goes around outwards all the way. So here is the trick that I like to do to overcome this problem. So if you bear with me, I will show you what I will do. The scissors has now been set. So I'm going to bring another piece of material. I would like it the size 6x6. Six and in that case, I need to click on Transform right at the bottom of the um, settings here for me. And I'm going to do it 6 inch by 6 inch. Now, now that it is 6 inch by 6 inch, I'm going to move it right to the top left corner. And I'm going to bring it down a little marker there. So I know where I'm going to be cutting. So the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my scissors and from the edge there, I'm going to cut a straight line to there and I'm going to cut that bit out. 
Now here's the trick. The next thing, I will take the tool, I will rotate from the arrange, I will rotate 90 degrees my material, move it to the edge of the paper again, and knowing where my edge is there, I'm going to cut again on the line. And for the third time, I will do the same. I'll turn it, rotate it to 90 degrees, bring it to the top, and using my scissors, I'm going to cut it again from there to there. And rotating it for the fourth and final time. Whoa, one less. Oh, let's go all the way round. Sorry, I kept going. I got so excited about it, so I kept going. I'll bring the edge to the top. And again, I will now cut along the line. Now my box has an edge with all the edges with the curves going outwards, so they're all the same. When I'm ready, I can create a line to it if I liked, so I can have a, a bit of a, an edge to it. And there you go, I've now created, using the scissors, an ice edge to my material. Hope you like this, and please do feel creative and experiment with this because you can do all sorts of things using your scissors but this was the first tutorial on scissors hope you like it thank you for watching and listening to my um, tutorial bye